happy. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, one of my favorite, let's say it's called it's my second favorite uh, midline movements, uh, barbell rollout, aka evil wheel, uh, aka uh, ab wheel infomercial. If you want to go grab one, it's like $20, $30, Sports Authority, ordered online. It's uh, probably one of the best pieces of equipment besides a barbell and a pull-up bar that you can invest in. Alright, uh, let's talk about it real quick. Uh, just, it's my favorite, second favorite movement. Again, uh, first favorite for those of you wondering, it being the uh, dynamic GHD holds. Uh, I did a video of that last week, should be up somewhere online. Uh, we'll probably link to it if you guys want to take a look at it. Uh, it's one of my favorite because it is the definition of midline stability. You stabilize your midline and then we perform an action outside of it and we can really load this movement up, uh, load your midline up a ton uh, because of the disadvantaged leverage that you get with the rollout uh, and the same concept as uh, why I like this dynamic GHD holds. So uh, we're gonna go, the when you guys set it up, I typically recommend throwing about 95 pounds in the bar. I was just doing some, uh, some high rep deadlifts. I just really didn't feel like I'm loading the bar and he's gonna suffer the consequence. So it's 165 on the bar right now. Uh, but 95 on the bar, you can do this with your toes or your knees. I recommend the knees off the bat until you get the hang of this. So, First thing we're going to do, and this is kind of counterintuitive to most of our midline stuff, is we're going to crunch our ribcage down, so this will be kind of a hollow body position, but we're trying to close the ribcage down to the hip, and this kind of C-shaped shoulders down to the hip, down through the knees, is what we're going to maintain the entire time as we perform the movement. So Andy, keeping this position, upper back is rounded, low back is nice and flat, neutral, squeeze your butt for me, good. So now we have a rounded upper back, neutral low back, neutral pelvis, he's going to grab the bar. We can go anywhere thumb distance from the middle to maybe pinkies out on the bar, but we don't want to go too wide in this position. And all he's going to do, if you guys can see up into this side, is he's going to drive his hip forward, maintaining this relationship between his knee and his shoulder. So he's going to roll out as far as he can, maintaining this position. And that might be here, it might be all the way out chest to the ground if he can. And once he gets to that position, he's just going to go ahead and pull the bar back underneath him. So he's not thinking about moving his midline at all, just pulling the bar back. If you are a noob to this movement, you might not feel your midline if you're doing it with the rolling all the way out. So I recommend just rolling out to a certain position and just holding. So go ahead, just roll out and hold for me. Good, so rolling out, I would say hold 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds. So you really feel that midline contracting and you're trying to drive your rib cage down towards your hips the entire time and then go ahead. All right. uh, if you guys want to structure a little work for some assistance, or uh, a little workout for assistance work, I recommend you, know, you do five sets of 10 to 20 second holds, uh, five sets of 10 reps, rolling out at a nice easy pace. Those are two good structures to use for this right off the bat. Again, don't worry about how far you roll, just that you roll uh, to a point where you can still maintain that body position we talked about. Hey, well, good. All right.